welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the 2024 Venture Sport Trek Touring Edition 272 VRK. It's a rear kitchen model, and it's built with couples or solo travelers in mind. It could sleep a few extras, we'll get into that, but I want to get started right here at the back in this rear kitchen where we have awesome solid surface countertops, a huge single basin stainless steel sink with a big high rise faucet up above it for washing out those pots and pans. We've also got a glass covered three burner stove just to extend our working surface for prep work. There's an oven down below, microwave up high, as well as this great Furion refrigerator behind me. It's a 12 volt and it's got plenty of space for all your goods as you travel. Right off of the kitchen in our slide, we have a booth dinette. I do want to mention too though that this is a flush floor slide, so the flooring just continues straight up into it. The booth dinette has storage down below and the tabletop can drop down and this can form yet another bed so that if you did have guests, they're easy to accommodate. Across from that, right by our entry door, we actually have a load of storage in the form of a big pantry. This thing's awesome. You can store all sorts of dry goods and it's easy access even with the slide closed because it's right by, like I said, our entry door there. I think that's a great thing. They've even slightly recessed it so we can stand up things like brooms or a small vacuum cleaner. Directly across from the pantry, right by our entry door, they did something kind of neat with some dead space in the cabinetry. They created kind of a hidden door. So this is nice because there's two little shelves in here and we've got 110 power as well as USB. So if you're the type of folks that when you're camping, you just want to put that phone away and not be bothered. This is a great place where it can charge up and hide. I can also see just storing the keys away in there and just keeping them out of little kids' hands. Pretty neat addition. As we push back towards the front of the camper, we end up in our living room area where we have theater seating that's directly across from our entertainment center. Now this theater seating is really sweet in the sense that it has all sorts of plugs available. So there's USB ports, cup holders, We've even got a 110 outlet, and if that wasn't enough, there's heat and vibration built into these. They recline really deeply so you can lay back and watch TV super comfortably. Speaking of that TV, we have a Sansui Smart TV. We've got a sound bar down beneath. We've got storage in the form of cabinetry below that and there's an electric fireplace from Inaflame. What's great about these is that they put out a lot of heat in the winter and they help offset your propane cost, as well as they just kind of look pretty. I think it gives a great ambiance to the room. Next to the entertainment center, we have a door leading into our bathroom. The bathroom features a foot flush toilet. It's porcelain, so it's easy to clean and it's very, very sturdy. In addition to that, there is storage up above in the form of a medicine cabinet. There's a stainless steel sink and our shower enclosure is glass. So it's nice and large and easy to clean up. There's a skylight up above. So even tall people like me feel comfortable inside. As we head towards the front of the camper, we go through an actual entry door. Right behind it, we have even more storage in the form of cabinetry, just filling up any dead space in the camper. I think that's a really smart addition because that gives us one more place just to store other odds and ends. The bedroom here features a slide. There are two slides on this unit, one in the living room kitchen area and one here in the bedroom. I love having that east-west bed. It's a king bed, so it's extra large for a travel trailer of this side. And it's set on a deep slide, so it gives us the ability to walk around it and have plenty of room to get up in the morning and get dressed. At the foot of the bed, we have a chest of drawers. It features yet another in a flame fireplace. It has hidden storage up high in the form of the countertop lifting up to give you kind of a junk drawer to throw all your odds and ends. There's three drawers down below. And of course there's stacking shelf space on either side of it. 
in our front cap, we have kind of the traditional layout that we see in travel trailers across the board, where we have storage on either side in the form of hanging closets, as well as storage and shelf space up above. There's a nice sitting area here because we have put that bed on a slide. It's not tucked up into the front. It gives us this space by this automotive grade front windshield, giving us views out three sides of the bedroom. There's a window over the bed, a window in the front, and a window over our chest of drawers. There's no lack of storage in here at all, and there's plenty of places to plug something up and charge up. We've got USB ports and plugs on either side of this sitting area. In addition to that, we've actually got them over the bed as well. Speaking of storage, the bed itself lifts up. It's strut assisted, it's easy to lift, it pops up and stays up on its own, and it's got a nice big box down there for hosting other odds and ends such as blankets and things that might be seasonal that you want to keep. Now this particular model that we're in today is 50 amp service, and it's optioned with two air conditioners. These are the new Coleman Mach air conditioners, and they actually feature a HEPA filter inside. I think that's a really cool thing that's pretty new to the market, and I'm seeing it in more and more trailers these days. There is also an entertainment option here. Up above our chest of drawers and mounted to the wall, we have a spot to hook up a TV. So they've built in a TV backer location as well as put in our cable outs and power so that you can use that. Let's head back to the entry door and look at a couple of features on the way that are important but not part of the main floor plan necessarily. We passed right by it on the way to the bedroom. We have a Go Power solar monitoring system here because there's a solar panel on the roof that's gonna help keep all of your 12 volt systems charged up. On the other side of that in the bathroom, we actually have a program called Level Mate Pro. This is a Bluetooth communicator that runs in conjunction with an app, and it allows you to level your camper and see what's going on with it from the app. I think that's really neat. We actually have a whole video on how that works and we'll link it as well. Over here, right by our TV, we have the main control panel. This is a Wii RV control panel. It's pretty cool because the whole thing lights up. This is actually Bluetooth capable as well. So we can tie this back to an app on our phone and we can run all our slides, our lights, everything that is accessible from here, we can see from our phone as well. This allows us to check our tank levels. We can turn on our water pump or our tank heaters. That's right, this is equipped with tank heaters for you folks up north that like to go camping in the cold. And we have our slide selection tool as well as our awning selection tool, which is just, like I say, gonna allow us to run things in and out. Now I do want to run the slides in on this camper just so that you guys can see what's accessible with the slides in. So the first thing we're gonna do is select slide one and start running it in. And there it is, the slides are in. So with them pulled in, what do we have access to? Well, as soon as we step through our door, we can definitely get into that main pantry. I can access pretty much all of the kitchen, certainly our storage, microwave, stove top. The fridge is not gonna be super easy to get into because it's a little bit covered up by the slide, and the bathroom is gonna be a squeeze to get by. So it might be in your best interest just to run the slide out a little bit if you don't have a lot of room and you can't run it out fully in a quick pit stop, you could certainly run it out a foot or two and get back to that bathroom with ease. Now, before we go outside, I wanna run these slides back out and then we'll pop out and check out all the features there. Stepping outside of the 272RK, I wanna get going with the features kind of towards the front of the camper where we have pass through storage. Now this is something that's a staple on travel trailers, but we've done it well here. There's LED lighting inside as well as a 
JBL portable speaker. I think that's a nice addition. All of our baggage doors are slam latches with magnetic catches. They're insulated and sealed, keeping that environment nice and safe. Taking advantage of any dead space that's available, they've carved out even more storage up under the bed slide here with this nice wide compartment, just giving us access to all sorts of things that we might want to have on the patio side of the RV. Now they've started the awning right beyond that. It's a large electric awning that runs out at the touch of a button, is LED lit, and gives us loads of shaded patio space while covering the door. The door itself has a nice large grab handle and the step above entry stairs. These make contact with the ground, they have adjustable legs, and they feel good and stable going in and out of the camper. You don't get that diving board effect. Right behind them, down low, you'll see that we have beautiful rims as well as Goodyear tires. I think that's really cool. It's a name brand that people love and respect. At the very back, you'll notice that we have our water heater. This is not the traditional gas electric tank style water heater. This is tankless instant on demand hot water. Something people have been asking for for a long time and I think it's something that folks are really gonna love. The rear of the camper, we have a ladder heading up to our fully walkable roof. Down low, you'll notice that we've got a two inch receiver. This is an accessory hitch. This is meant for putting a basket on for like a generator or a bike rack, things like that. Up high, we are pre-wired for a backup camera. This quick and easy plug and place aftermarket camera system, you can get it from Furion and it transmits to a receiver that's in the truck so you can see what's going on as you're backing into your campsite. As we round the corner at the rear, down low, you'll notice that we have a sewage out. Now, because this is a rear kitchen model, that is a secondary gray tank dump. It only dumps the gray water from the kitchen. Now, the other sewage is on the other side of the slide. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But right above all of that, we have a docking station. Inside that docking station, we have an outside shower slash hose where we can hose things off. It has a hot and cold water connection. And our main water fill in is right here too. Now there's a switch inside that we can go between our city connection or our tank fill, depending on whether we're gonna be boondocking or not, or if you just need a little bit of water in the tank for those in between trip moments. The main shore power is right here as well, and below it we have black tank flush. As we push forward onto the other side of the slide, down low you'll see that secondary sewage connection that I was talking about. So this is going to come from our bathroom. So it's gonna be your black tank and your secondary gray tank that dump here. I think that's a pretty cool spot, the way that they've set it up. You could easily get a wide connector, bring them together, and have things permanently hooked up for a longer stay in a site. Coming forward, we end up kind of towards our front cap, where we have the other side of that pass-through storage, just giving us the ability to get things from both sides. The front of the camper has this beautiful molded fiberglass front cap that's complete with that automotive grade windshield that we saw from the inside, letting all that light down into the bedroom. We have the blue LED accent lights up above. That's just gonna look great running down the road or in camp at night. And down below all of that, we have our large LP tanks as well as a battery cutoff switch down in behind it and the new BAL system for stabilization and for adjusting the hitch height. So we can level this front to back with this electric tongue jack and from here we can run all four stabilizer jacks down to really make this camper rock solid inside. I think that's really cool. Overall, if you're on the market for a solo coach or a couple style coach, this could be for you. It's a great size. It's not overly huge. It's gonna fit into a lot of state parks and older campgrounds really well. 
Having two ACs is going to be a great thing in the south if you find it optioned that way. And all of the exterior and interior storage means that taking longer trips is definitely going to be a breeze. If you like what you see here, go check it out in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia, or you can give them a call at 770-477-0552, or check it out online at southernrv.com. Until next time, folks, happy camping.